In this video, we will talk about how to represent vectors in a 3D coordinate system. As we talked before, vectors represent a quantity that has direction and length. Vectors in 3D coordinate systems are represented with an ordered set of three real numbers. Vectors are named with a lowercase letter with a little arrow on top of the name, and they have three components. A1 represent the shift in x direction, and A2 represent the shift in y direction, and A3 represent the shift in z direction. Vectors are abstract concepts. When we talk about shift, the shift could happen anywhere in space, and it equally applies to any object. So if we have object A located here and object B located here, then applying a shift using vector, some vector, we can use the same vector to shift object B to another location. So those vectors are not quantities that could be visualized in a 3D coordinate system, and they don't really have a specific location in a space. Think of, for example, the north as a vector. Anywhere you are in a space, you can point to the north. And that doesn't change the value of the north vector. In order to visualize or represent vectors in a 3D coordinate system, we need a few things. First, we need an anchor point. Second, we need to know the length of our vector so we can use a line segment to help us visualize that vector. The third part is we need an arrowhead so we know the exact direction in which the vector is going. Let's take an example. In a typical 3D coordinate system, you have the x direction, y direction, and z direction. Suppose I have vector v that is equal to 5, 0, 0. That tells me that that vector can shift objects 5 units in the x direction, 0 units in the y direction, and 0 units in the z direction. So it will shift objects along the x-axis of my coordinate system. So if my object is located at point A, and let's consider that my anchor point to my vector. Then I can represent my vector as a line segment that is 5 units long, going in the positive x direction, and is anchored to the center of my object A. I was able to represent my vector V using a line segment and arrow that is anchored to that object. If I had another object in a space, B, and the center of B becomes the anchor of my vector V, then I can have a second representation of my vector V that is 5 units in length, the arrowhead going into the positive x, and it's anchored to the center of my object B. I'll call this my V representation 1 and this is my V representation 2. These two representations use the exact same vector V, but they are anchored to do different points. So they are two representations of the exact same vector. To recap, in order to be able to represent or visualize a vector in a 3D coordinate system, we need to anchor it to a point, we need to use a line segment with certain length, and use the arrowhead to be able to point to the direction.